You're gonna be a problem, isn't ya? Vincent, I think, oh. Oh, hi. You'd like another chance to have bottles. Huh. Yep. Fuck me. Why can't I have like a bungee cable that I can just like tow things behind me with? Uh, but I do have this now because I turned off ladders. What if that fixes my problem? What's going on in here? Just gross. I guess the ant lions can't get past this barrier, so it's completely infested past this point. But it's pristine in here. You know, for a alien technologically taken over sewer. The pipe the, these these cables go right through. It's kind of interesting. Okay. Yeah, you start to get a rhythm for whenever they have a point of no return while you're also transitioning location types, and then you're like, ah, that's a level transition. Okay, so... <laughs> hey, buddy, you're really full of stuff today. I really... we really repopulated your innards, didn't we? <laughs> but here's the question. Can I do this? Which, like, because I think I need help. <laughs> I tried to do a covered ladder in the Jeff chapter, and... It didn't work. I mean, it eventually worked, but this one's really covered in that there's no loophole to get around this one. It's just this. Same problem as last time. But here's the question. <gasps> oh my god, will, will it take, it, will, will it take uh, Vincent with me? Could I have done this in the Jeff chapter? Yes, probably. In fact, that video's not out yet. It comes out like in a couple days, but I'm guessing... A bunch of comments are gonna say that if that's the case. But on the other side, I fucking pulled it off, and that's a victory. And so I don't regret anything except for the amount of editing I had to do, because that was. Editing that episode took longer than making that episode, and making that episode took over an hour. <laughs> or recording it. Okay, go. Moan of truth. <gasps> We're saved! Uh oh. Uh. Uh. They're locking down the area. Don't look over here. Good luck trying to lock yep. out someone wielding an Alex. Yeah. Good luck. I don't think he saw me. Okay. That's good. What's this chapter called, by the way? I didn't get a script. Revelations. Wow. The most generic and meaningless name you can give anything in media. <laughs> I always feel like they're a little checked out whenever they name anything Revelations, although it's especially bad if they name, like, a sequel Revelations. Like, the entire game is called Revelations. Oh. I think he sees me. Yeah, he sees me. Yeah? Is it me? Is that who it is? Is that who it is? Is it me? Is it me? Do you see me? <laughs> Alright, well... <laughs> I guess... I guess he didn't have an angle on me. And that... Since he's trapped up there, they really left him no choice at that point but to just die. Ah, uh, so that's good news. I can't get fucked over by that kind of ladder. It means that the problem we had last time was completely self-inflicted, and well, uh, both because of the Vincent part and the part where I could have just teleported it up, up it with the accessibility option. But, uh, yeah. I think even without trying, I can safely say this wasn't gonna happen. I can't throw Vincent in a perfectly vertical line that somehow then diverges in a different direction and lands over here. Like, if it hits any part of these walls at any point, then it would immediately get deflected and hit all the other walls and then fall back down. But if I somehow shot it perfectly straight up like a magic man, then it would fall straight back down. <laughs> like, that's too straight for too long and there's no, there's no terrain, no ledges, nothing to be creative with like I could be last time with that fence and everything. We lucked out. We lucked out that that option works that way. Also, I don't have to climb ladders anymore, which is also, which is another personal victory, because climbing ladders in this game is just one of the worst implemented features. Okay, not much interaction here. I can take a peek. 
Really? I can't get that close? That entire building's taken over by the hive up there. Alarming. Things have been a lot less horror-y lately. Oh, there I go saying that. Jinxing myself. Hey, it's you! Whoa! Russell! Forge just took down the last substation! Hey! Oh, hey. Oh. oh. The Forge oh. just took down the last substation! Oh. Bring yourself, Alex! It's gonna come down! Wait, what the...? They've activated a backup! Tell Alex there's no way that backup escaped. She can shut it down. Your dad says... I heard it. So head towards those beams, right? Right. That's gonna be the backup station. Dad, Dad, whoever's in there is worth it. What's that, Alex? Nothing. I'm on my way. There are so many outlines around here. Like, holy shit, just swarming everything. Visually, this game's incredible. Like, not just fidelity-wise, but just, like, these settings are so fucking cool-looking. These ant lions that are infesting this water tower over here, like, while well, this is happening and that's happening and shit. Seeing them swarm everywhere, you, you just, like, you got the Starship Troopers feeling of just, like, sure, hope they don't all notice me. <laughs> I can kill them all in three bullets, sure, Caref but very carefully. And, uh, that's a lot of dudes. Not gonna lie, I was a little worried. Not just for myself, but for Vincent. When that thing started falling down, I'm like, that's really close to me and very big. I feel like I'm gonna be in trouble here. Wasn't your mask white when I started fighting you? Is this how they animate blood? It is, yeah. This is how they animate blood in this game. Can I still shoot your thingy? Yes. Uh oh. A little self inflicted. I did that in one of the first fights against them ever, and I've never done it since. It's kind of hard to nail the shot. They do move around, and also, I've got jittery hands. Both my real-life flawed flesh and the VR jiggle, which is always kind of a little bit of a thing. Varying from session to session and moment to moment, but still, a thing. What the fuck is that? Is it just a button? Ah. That was straightforward. So getting locked out by this gate was actually really useful because otherwise I'd have been under that when that happened, which technically didn't kill me. That kind of worked out, but it might have uh, if I was down there, if it hadn't been caught by this fail safe, I guess. Why is it so important that this thing's floating? Just to keep it away from the general bullshit, like us and the antlions? Is fair. Like, I, I, I haven't thought about this universe for like 10 years that much, because I haven't played Half-Life since Orange Box came out. But this might be one of my favorite sci-fi settings. Just seeing it in this game, like it really the aesthetic is fucking fantastic. Like, I really do love this. And, like, the fact that the fucking Combine invaded and, like, they have a bunch of cool stuff going on with them, but also, like, these aren't Combine troopers. These guys. The Vortigaunts, the Combine, whatever's going on. I don't even fully understand what's going on because I've never played Half-Life 1, which, that's the question that has to be answered. And also, like, whether or not I should play Half-Life 1 at this point or Black Mesa, because playing both seems a bit much but it's that Resident Evil 2 versus Resident Evil remake question of which one should I be playing. Maybe I'll do a poll one day. Or maybe one of them will just get voted for by Patreon and make them the choices made for me. But uh, I don't know what the best one to do there is. Do you get the authentic experience or the new experience that's made by fans, but it's not the real thing though. And it's not just an HD thing. But yeah, like this, the fact that like these aren't all part of the Combine army. Like, this isn't like the Covenant, where it's a big, multi-racial, multi-species, like, super army, because they've conquered so many different groups that they all work together against you, but then you can split them up, maybe, and blah, 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 and all those other elements. Like, it's really cool to me. That's the point of No Return Drop, also. <laughs> it's really cool to me that, like, these things, there's a lot of stuff that's happening on Earth right now that's not from Earth. This is not, this is not an Earth that has this stuff. 
but it's also not the Combine's, like, army. It's just fucking ecological pollution, basically. It's like when you take a pet lizard across the border and then you permanently ruin the ecosystem of that uh, country or whatever and, and like it becomes a new predator that's, hunt that's ecologically fucking everything up because it fucks up the whole food chain and everything. Like this, this area, oop. This area is just full of that shit. Like Earth isn't ready for these, oop. Okay, our Earth, is, our Earth isn't ready to deal with this shit so this is happening. But also, that wasn't their invasion plan either, as far as I can tell. Okay. Getting a little close here. Getting a little close here. Huh. I'm sorry, are both of your legs still on? I'm confused. I'm running out of ammo on this thing. Uh-oh. Yep. Okay. That's not good. Um. Oh. Thanks, buddy. Ooh. Oh, shit! Did I just drop ammo or something? What happened there? I think it was in my hand. Okay. <laughs> oh, he's still alive. Ish? Doing okay, buddy? Shit. Uh, no. Vincent. Come over here. Don't hit, don't you dare hit him. Stay away from my boy. Harder than you'd hope. Is that my heartbeat? Oh my god. Uh, that's a low health indicator. You can only see the blinking dot when you look at it. I'm apparently about to die. Flawless. Not even one damage taken that time, I think. I still have to deal with these assholes. That's the lowest my health ever been when I checked it. I either just surprise die with not that much warning. Or I'm like, oh wow, I guess I have lost a heart. I guess I'll top myself up. <laughs> what a jolly day. Anyway, here's my murder gun that does the murder for me. Hello, dicks. Feeling alright? Is this working for you? Was it good for you? Ow, 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 ow. Wow, that fucked me up. This thing has to load it. Okay, so it reloads itself. Ooh! Woo! Bye bye. Three cells left. So it holds three here. There's one, there's, so, I was waiting, I was, I was expecting to find out that this thing could store more after I, I did it, but, like, based on the way that, uh, the upgrade worked, but we didn't get to, like, feel how it worked for a while, but now that I know how, to, now that I'm seeing it in action, it holds one cell up here, like always, then three additional cells here, and whenever you run out of ammo on one of these things, it actually does stop firing, and then loads the other one automatically for you. So it has four times the ammo, actually, but it just takes a bit to go through each one. Ow really undid the whole itch there. The Combine are easily the only real threat most of the time. Everything else is just spooky and scary and it scares me. 
Oh, Meow, and there's a head crab. What am I gonna do? And barnacles are horrifying. Got some trouble with that one. Boop. Shouldn't throw stuff around. I'm just gonna think it's something I can pick up later. Seven. You're full. You're full. All right. We're good, good, good to go, and I'm momentarily paranoid that I'm not recording, but yes, I am. Okay. Bad throw. So yeah, big, big scary gun against the big scary combine. Clinical, clean, good aiming gun against all the stupid bugs. I didn't destroy that tank of gas this time. Where is that? Maybe they just got it regardless. Well, I really got my angle down, don't I? I used to have that figured out. Hmm, I want to explore. But I don't feel like I can make it over there. Hmm? You guys hide anything down there? Doesn't seem like it. I could get on, I could literally lay on the ground to look, but I'm, that seems a bit much. Nope, not that kind of glass. That glass is harder than the zoo glass. And the zoo glass is actually designed to contain something. So I have questions about the priorities here. All right. Yep. Sometimes I'm just saving time by doing the little skips, but the uh, jumping across the room is definitely like a real, it has a real utility during combat. Because it's, it's, it's definitely a speed boost I don't think there's a sprint button in this game. I don't think I can ever run faster. The joystick that moves at its own given speed and that's it. Unless I've missed something. I could check. Interface, preferences. Roller bindings. Uh, I don't want to go to a separate menu. I don't know. I don't think they ever introduced running. Or maybe they, maybe if they told me it was just irrelevant for so long that I didn't notice. I never really had to run that much. It was more about being able to react. But then like halfway through the game, you finally start dealing with people that shoot at you. Oh. There's somebody up there. Whoa! Not Maybe a scavenger? Be careful. Having some trouble there. Maybe a scavenger. Hey, okay, I got a glowy light there. Maybe he's friendly if he's a scavenger. If he's from around here, he might know something about what the fuck's in that thing. Maybe that's even why this chapter is called Revelation. Because he tells me what's up. There's a re there is a revelation. You. Oh yeah, I'm definitely going over there lately. That looks like a that definitely looks like a video game level. Ah. Ooh. Hey. Got a little crack here. A little crack. Is that a battery? Hmm. Oop. Oop. Bad throw. Bad. Bad grab. Just bad all around. 
Puh. Yep. Hello? I would like to politely announce my presence. I come in peace. I'm here to plunge your depths. No subtitles. This is the entire planet. How's it taking so long? I'm fine. I'm thrilled you thought that. You need to talk to your boss about how running out of time. I got nothing from that one. No, that's the oh. Why are my Why are my subtitles over here? Are you okay? That was unhelpful. Oh, I was supposed to be able to understand that. That sucks. The uh, adaptive subtitles that move around the screen. Uh, didn't track correctly that time. That's the first time we've seen that fuck up. It's so fucking dark in here. I hate that. Hmm. That's kind of a bummer, but we were supposed to... We were supposed to be able to read the subtitles, I guess, and uh, they bugged out. They usually follow your, your VR set around and center themselves on your screen. You guys better get busy on exterminating. You got barnacles growing on your fucking roof. What a horrifying thing to just find periodically. Like, that wasn't the Combine plan. Hell, they kill Combine. Nobody likes barnacles. And they're apparently such a problem that even the Combine haven't successfully exterminated them. Hmm. This seems like a bit of a tight fit might go bad for me. Oh, my flashlight's here now. Why wasn't it there in the dark room a minute ago? I can see better in here. I guess because I'll need it here. Uh, no, we fixed that problem, thankfully. Oh god, where am I? Oh, I don't like it in here. We're back to the being kind of horror-y. I didn't even see this whole wall wasn't here. Ugh. It's so unnerving how, like, limiting it feels to be completely in the dark in this game. Hmm. Yeah. Healing stuff on my hands. Here. Yep. I have an idea. This is one way we can take advantage of our game knowledge. Uh, 
Okay. Okay, there. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yep. Bad example. <laughs> Alright, well, so much for having a clean throw where everything stays inside. Yep. There we go. as much as we watch out for Vincent, it's uh, often easiest to just find the uh, spots where you can shortcut it a bit. If only we could take such shortcuts that Vincent can, we'd save a lot of time. And uh, horror. Okay, now I can focus on the not dying. There's the subtitles, for some reason, behind me. Too tall. Tall as Alex canonically. I think I'm too tall. Uh, hi, okay, wait, finally. Hi. We need to move the box or this thing is going to be Black Mesa all over again. Well, now I'm telling you it is ready. Look, if it's still here when she gets there, he's gone. What in the history of today makes you think you're going to stop her? Look, this guy we've got in there survived Black Mesa. He raised holy hell and then just disappeared. We finally caught him and you're just going to let him go again? It we is Gordon Freeman? So I'm freeing Gordon Freeman. Survived Black Mesa, then disappeared. Eli, they do have a super weapon. God damn it, Russ, they got Gordon Freeman. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, That's good, right? This is very, very good. <laughs> This is a miracle. All right. So, let's go save Gordon Freeman. Oh, incoming. Hey, give me a second. Unfortunate. Oh, shit. Uh, this is a bad spot for this. Uh. Uh-huh, where? Oh. Is that gonna blow that wall open? Yes. Okay. Okay. Could be better. Where's my... I only had my flashlight for that one part. <laughs> okay, so the plan is to get to that control room and get Gordon. I'll be honest, people talk about him a lot, but I always just assumed he was dead. Me too. Hey, Dad? Are you there? Yeah, what's up, Alex? If Gordon survived Black Mesa, where's he been? I don't know, but I bet it's a hell of a story. Hope you get fixed at some point. Okay. So she's probably that... Because I saw her profile and it brought back, like, her shadow... I saw her shadow and it brought back the uh, the image of, ooh, I'm already loaded though, yeah. Use you on my own later. It brought back the image of uh, a woman with orange hair that's tied behind her head. A medium length orange hair. I don't really remember, what, remember who she was in the story, but I think that was her. Did she work for Breen? 
Dr. Breen? Is that the... the old guy that's kind of a spokesperson for the Combine or something in the in Half-Life 2? A lot of barnacles, but they're growing in the wrong direction. It's not going to be a good time for them. Do I have to go that way? Shit. It would appear there's a health pack around here. Not there. Hmm. Because that's there. Past here? Like, I can't go through here, right? Yeah. This, these things are way less hostile than I originally thought they'd be. Like, big... I mean, I wouldn't touch an energy barrier in real life. I'd be concerned that it burns you or something. Well, the fuck it did lead, they put it. So dark in there. I did blow him up. Maybe it blasted it down there? Which means I can't use it? I would not want to go through there in general. Look at their little mouths fucking growing. Oh, there it is. Yeah. That would have been pretty cool if it worked. Hey! Second try. That's pretty good. Sorry, buddy. There he goes. You're poop now. What if there was horrible consequences for using the wrong hand? Ah, oh, full health. You, you cap out on health and it only uses that much of it. That's interesting. Oh, that's, that's how they worked. Yeah, there was health stations in Half-Life 2 that sounded like these ones. And they literally told you how much health was in them. Like, this station has 100 health, and so you could fill it, you could give yourself 100 health. So if you didn't need 100 health, you could come back later for the rest. Not gonna be able to come back to this one, though. It's gonna be a bit of a prowl for me. I don't love this part. Let's see, they're getting up and close and personal with all the gross, goopy shit. That I don't trust, and there's so much of it around that's hard to parse it all. Ah. I think part of what's awkward about the, all the crouching and climbing stuff is that in real life I'd use my hands. <laughs> like I would go like this to get down, and then like I'd sit here and put my legs down first, and I'd actually land on my feet. I wouldn't like slide forward while crouching, then have to stand up from this position. But that's, that's not really a thing you can fix in VR, I don't think. <laughs> 